Welcome to module F. F stands for filter. This is essentially where we're setting up the tool for what we want it to do and what we want it to analyze. There's a few different components. The first one is the workshop purpose. So you will see that you've got three options there. You can run it for the production constraints only, the climate constraints only, or both. So in most cases, we're looking to run for both production and climate constraints. The second component or filter is about marginalized populations. The core idea here is that development cannot come at the expense of some within the community and particularly those that are already marginalized or to the side within a community. So what we want to do is when we later analyze adaption, the adaptation options, we want to know that we're not leaving that marginalized population behind. So the sorts of some populations that we're talking about, they can be things like youth who generally have less access to resources or landless farmers and labourers or smallholders as opposed to the larger holders who have more ability to create income. Uh, it might be a particular religion, a particular caste, a particular race within a community that tends to be less able to be productive with farmland. The, the core idea is is there a population that this might be worse for? The third component is around environmental concerns. So we have to remember that the tool will already ask about production constraints and about climate hazards. What we're looking at here is can we nominate the top three environmental concerns that are relevant to this production domain? And we want things that are beyond the farm level. So for instance, soil erosion might be an environmental concern, but it's a farm level environmental concern. The silting of waterways due to soil erosion would be an environmental concern. So we're looking to go to that level above. So around um, pollution, groundwater depletion, uh, overuse of herbicides causing damage in waterways, things that are not at farm level, but at are above at a community level that affect multiple different farms in an area. Next, we have our crops filter. So based on the information that you've put in module S, we can calculate the total value of the different crops that are part of this system. What we then need to do is say that we're time limited, we can't analyze every single crop in this system, so we want to prioritize the ones that we think are most important. So you'll see on the include an analysis, there's a drop down that says yes or no. What we are looking at there is we make a recommendation that if it's got a relative importance of at least 5% of the total production value from module S, uh, then we suggest it should be included, but you can modify that. Um, so you could say that you're not you're not interested in rice. So you would go there and you would click no, and that will mean that the tool doesn't then go further and analyze that in the following modules. The tool can do a maximum of eight crop by season combinations, um, but you don't have to do eight. You can do less than eight if you so desire. The final component is the production ceiling. And this becomes really important when we start to assess the adaptation options in the final module. So whenever a crop is selected for further analysis, that is that you're clicking yes here, it will ask what is the maximum yield under perfect production conditions and climate conditions. Now, the reason we wanna do that is when we go to look at the benefits of adaptations, we need to know what is the ceiling at which benefit cannot go beyond. So think about in the absolute best conditions, absolutely no constraints, what is the best yield that we could hope for in this production domain? So it's not an average across the domain, think about the best farm under the best conditions in the production domain, a single farm, single plot, what is in tons per hectare, what is the maximum yield that could be expected? So in this F module, what we're doing is simply telling the tool that these are the things we want to focus on. These are the people, these are the elements, and these are the environmental concerns and crops that we want to focus on. 